Hello again. Another video for Space Wolves in the new codex. So we're going on to the Lord of War, which is Logan Grimnar. Um, all the 7th edition codexes are doing this, putting all the big people, big named people as Lords of War. Because why not? So what we have for for Logan Grimnar is you will find him on a double page spread on page eighty eight and eighty nine. Don't know why, but we've got something sticky on the book. Quite you. So, he's 250 points. He used to be at 275. 270. He's 20 points cheaper. Better for it. Weapon skill 5, glistic skill 5, strength 4, toughness 4, 4 wounds instead of 3. Initiative 5, 5 attacks, leech at 10, and a 2 plus armor. Because he's got Terminator armor. So, his war gear, Terminator armor. Store Bolton, excuse me, Belt of Rust. So Terminator can deep strike now, he can come in with them if he wants. Uh, his Warlord trait is, sorry, is Special Rules, and they shall know no fear, Acute Sensors, Counter Attack, Eternal Warrior, Independent Character, and Stubborn. Uh, Saga of Majesty, um, it, you'll find that on page 94, makes sense for him, it's not bad, not bad at all. Um, what he used to do, he used to have a rule where whatever unit he is with, he used to give Tank Hunter, Fearless, um, Relentless, and I think something else, maybe a Furious Charge. Um, he doesn't do that now, so got rid of that for 20 points, which is a shame. And he doesn't give one attack to all units within 12 inch for a return, which is a shame. But at least he's got an extra wound now, which makes sense. So his oh, his relics are the Axe Mokai, which has changed a little bit. It is You can use either one-handed or two-handed. Uh, one-handed is Strength plus two, AP three, melee. And two-handed is Strength times two, AP two, melee, two-handed, unwieldy. So it's kind of a case of you can split the attacks up, one handed to two handed. Um, it used to be plus one strength, so strength five, but strength six now AP three, which pretty good, pretty good. Or a power fist that's two handed. You know, take what you want. You go on something that's weaker. You pick the eight basic one. You go on something that's really big. You go two handed. And his other other relic is Storm Rider. Which is basically his landslides thing. So I'll show you the model which I am painting. I apologise if it's not focusing properly on it. Nice model to build. Uh, horrific instructions for to build um, Logan Grimnar. Not good at all. But even with the little modifications I've had to make, still pretty nice to look at. So, Storm Rider. It is a. So it's Blizzard Skill 3, not really much point because it hasn't got a weapon. Um, front armor 12, side armor 12, rear armor 12. So it's got 12 all around effectively. Hall point 3, it's a chariot and it's open topped. And it costs 70 points extra to take, so that makes him 320 points. So it has a lot of rules, so it has a 4 plus invulnerable save. It can go 12 in the movement phase. All penetrating hits against Storm Rider counted glancing hits, pretty good. Um, it loses deep strike when riding it, which, come on. 
he's gonna gonna be the case. He's not he's not really deep striking that. Let's face it. So he can't join other units or join by independent characters. He's ste they're not gonna steal the limelight from the great king Fenris Bruno. So with riding Storm Rider, he gets a four four extra attacks at strength five, AP dash with rending. Pretty good. So uh, they made it initiative five, which can grant an extra piling. It's all good. Um, there are big problems which make Storm Rider risky, but I'd possibly take him considering what he can do. It's the thing is, if either Storm Rider or Grimnar dies, then the other side of it goes. So, if it, so, both models are removed. That's the rule for chariots. Um, in shooting, you get to choose who takes it. The the owner of the model. So, say if a missile's hitting hitting the chariot. Um, the Space Wolf player could say, no, Grimnar's going to take it. So, after rolling to hit, you say who takes it, then you roll to wound. Or arm penetrate if you want to take it on the chariot. Which makes it very versatile. Um, on the charge, because chariots get D3 Hammer Wrath at strength 6, it is uh, 5 attacks normally, plus 1 for charging, so that's 11 to... Wait... Yeah, 11 to 13 attacks on charge altogether, which makes him really, really powerful. Really, really, really powerful. Um, can move 12. Um, now, I don't think he can fire a Storm Bolter, because the chariot moves 12, and the people inside them count as moving. So if you move more than 6, you can't really fire the chariot. You can't really fire a Storm Bolter, should I say. Um, I reckon he's really good. I used him against Tyranids. Now, he ran down a unit of Gene Steelers, a unit of 19, because they were. They couldn't really do anything against that bucket load of attacks. Um, it took him, my opponent, two turns to finish, from, finish, finish him off with shooting. And only in that case it was Grimnar. They did not touch the chariot whatsoever. So you take it as you see it really. Um, it can be immobilised by going over to rain. Uh, it's not... It's, it doesn't, you just charge as normal, which is a shame. Because it's drawn by Thunderwolves. I'd have thought you'd have rerolled charge distances... Um, is it worth 320 points? I think yes. A lot of people will say no because it's a bit iffy. Um, people have difficulties with the chariot rules. I can see why, but from what I've seen, it's pretty clear cut. I mean, going off on the tangent, the Necron chariot thing, which Overlords can ride... Um, been FAQ'd where they can get back up if the rider gets back up. Seems a bit overpowered, but yeah, I can see why that could happen. I can see it making sense to me. A lot of people won't like it, and a lot of people don't like chariot rules, but I don't mind them. Uh, chariots are a thing that are a bit stupid to have, but I like it. Uh, Lone Grimnar overall has been made slightly better, I think. Um, the chariot thing, well, take it or leave it. I really like the model. Um, it's been really nice to paint. You don't really need to. I don't really need to do too much on the chariot itself. A bit of silver here and there, a bit of black, a bit more gold perhaps, on a bit of the trim. Uh, bit more going around where I've gone over the edges so again not too bad with the new Grimnar model I've come round to liking it um, I didn't before just let the camera focus hopefully mm. Mm, there we are 
Yeah, if you see there, that's where the instructions weren't put properly. So I had to cut it down a little bit. You wouldn't, I don't think you'd know unless I told you. But oh, just show you the back of the cloak, the cape. Um, it's a shame they've taken off all two necklaces so we don't automatically hit on threes, but there you go. So, that's it for Logan Grimnar. I've gone on too long for the, about Grimnar. Um, I think he's great. In the Thunderwolf Cavalry Army, or anything that takes a fair few Thunderwolves, I'd take him. He fits nicely. On the chariot, he looks, looks like he goes with them. Uh, don't have to, we could put him with units if you want and again it's up to you, he's a lord of war so you could take him in a normal army as well as she you so with that I will move on to another video and goodbye